What's up, what's up, what's up? What's good, YouTube? What's good? It's your girl, Queen, coming at you from Queen and Queen's World of Real. You already know who it is. Y'all, it is Worship Wednesday. Worship Wednesday. That's right. Hopefully, everybody having a good morning this morning. Um, I'm a little tired, guys. I had to work a double last night. I had to work from 8 a.m. till 9 well, I got out. We got out of there about 9.36 p.m. But, guys, I'm a little tired. I'm sure y'all could probably hear it in my voice. I had to pull all night or so. It is what it is, you know. When work call, work calls. But, um, yes, yes, yes. It is Worship Wednesday, guys. That's right. Now, as far as Worship Wednesday on today, I know that y'all probably suspecting a song or something coastal i do have a song on my mind but that ain't what i'm talking about today it ain't i'm not singing no song today i got this old tired voice it ain't like i'm the best singer anyways and i have my voice all tied up today so we just gonna bypass the song today <laughs> i hum it how about that i hum the song <laughs> hopefully that hopefully that come out right but guys, Worship Wednesday, I'm just going to simply put it like this. Guys, we were created to worship Jesus Christ, God himself. That's what we were created to do, guys. So let's make sure that we are doing that. And make sure you're worshiping our God. You know, because nowadays, and... I'm not even going to say nowadays. I'm just going to say period. There are some people that worship other things. Or they put other things before God or other humans before God. And it's, it's not right, guys. You can't put things before God, before Jesus. You cannot put anything before them. And I know, yeah, we love our parents. We love our kids. That's true. But you can't put things before God. That's right. Because um, from my understanding, God is a jealous God. You know? And that's the last thing I want him to be with me. I don't want him to be jealous that I'm putting something before him. You know? And guys, you know, some, some of the time we don't even know that we're putting something before him. But I'll give you a couple examples. Like, for example, if you if you don't take up no time with God, you know, like you're you're a sport fanatic. All you want to do is just watch sports all day. Or, in my opinion, that's kind of in a way putting that before God, especially when you ain't even talked to Him that day. And, you, and first thing you want to do is come on the TV watch sports. You ain't even talked to God today. You know, you kind of just left Him hanging. He's sitting there waiting, and you ain't even said nothing to Him. Or you like to shop. First thing you think about when you wake up is shopping, getting that new outfit. Or you like to get your hair done. The first thing you think about is getting your hair done. Or getting your nails done. Or playing that favorite PlayStation game. You know, it, it's different things. It different things. Different ways that um, you can make God jealous. You know, even in your relationships. You know, if you're in a relationship and, you know, you don't. You don't talk to God. You don't. You don't have a relationship with Him, but you got a relationship with everybody else. You know. Those are things, y'all, that we don't want to do. You know. So, and guys, I'm not saying I'm perfect. By no means, y'all. I fall short. I fall short of the mark every day. I know I do. You know, which is why I have to keep that closeness. I have to. I got to ask for forgiveness every day. I have to kill me daily and when I say kill me guys I have to kill my flesh daily you know and sometimes I catch my flesh right in the tracks right in their tracks acting flashy <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say acting flashy is your flash acting flashy <laughs> y'all know that flash ain't no good flash ain't no good you can want to do you can want to do good. You can want to do the best you can do. And then that flash 
come on up. You know, somebody make you mad. And you be like, you know what? I'm going to let God handle them. Next thing you know, that flash peep around the corner like this. Just like that, y'all. <laughs> That's how we feel. I'm like, man, shoot. I had done told God I was going to let him handle it. And here I am trying to handle it. <laughs> Guys, that's so funny to me. That is just so funny. But y'all, you know, at the end of the day, you just ask for forgiveness, you know? In spite of everything you do, you just ask God for forgiveness. That's it. That's it. It's simple. You ask him for forgiveness, and he will forgive you right then and there. But guys, you can't make it an effort to do what you just asked him to forgive you for. You see what I'm saying? So when you ask for your forgiveness, make sure that you really mean it and you don't have any intent on going back for what you just asked forgiveness for so guys i don't know where this conversation went it just it just went left <laughs> it just went left guys <laughs> but that's all right we still talking about god y'all you know god and life and the things that we put before him and god said it should be no other god before me you know but not only that, you guys, worship God. Worship Him. Yes, worship Him, because that's what we was created to do was worship Him. You know, and not only that, y'all, you know, um, Jesus also said that if you deny Him, then He's going to deny you in front of His Father. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all, we don't want that. We don't want that. That's why you want to definitely try to build your relationship with God. Try to talk to Him every day. You know, and the more you do it, the more it'll come easy for you to do it. You know, once you get into that habit of doing it, spending that time. And guys, it don't have to be a whole lot of time. It don't have to be a whole lot of time. You find some time for God, you know. I like to find my time early. Soon after I get up, I like to find my time with him, you know. And then throughout the day, I just keep him on my mind, you know. Make sure I'm doing this right. Make sure I'm doing that right. You know, so treating people right. That's first and foremost, guys. I'm sorry, but um, I really, really, really feel like God want us all to treat each other right. He really do. He really do. And honestly, that's why I'm making an effort to treat everybody right. Some people say I'm too nice or... um. What else I done heard? Oh, you're too nice. You Oh, you put you don't put people before you, you know, stuff like that. You know, and that's all fine and well. Easy and said, easier said than done. But guys, when you when you just got the love for people like the like God has love for you, for us, it's nothing that you can cut off. It, it, I ain't no switch. And it's by I'm sure it's other people like that. Queen like that. Queen is like that. She don't she don't have no switch. You know, it, you can't just cut, you can't just cut your love off, you know, especially when you love with the love of Christ. It, it's not, it's not a switch, you know? So I take, I take all of it in. People say this about me. People say that about me. It's, it's, it's okay. Because if you have an issue with me, it's your problem. It's not mine. So I don't make it my problem. You understand what I'm saying, guys? I don't make it my problem. Yeah, guys, I, I don't make it my problem with how people feel about me. I don't, you know. God is my conviction. He convicts me. I don't let people convict me. You know what I'm saying? The only person convicts me, convict, convicts me is God. Jesus Christ himself. That's it. People don't, I don't let people dictate me, dictate what I do. I let God do all of that as we should. You know, but anyways, anyway, guys, I'm gonna get on up off of here. Um, as you can see, I done pulled up to work. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, this is my takeaway for today for Worship Wednesday, guys. If you have not started a relationship with Jesus Christ Himself, God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, all. All of the above. If you have not got your relationship going, guys, definitely jump on that. Now is the time. Now is the time, guys. It's been time, you know. It's been time. 
Y'all wonder why all these things are happening around here, you know, in the world. And um, it's, it's, it's only because it, time is winding up, you know? Time is winding up. Like a lot of this stuff that we seeing now is being fulfilled. Honestly, it's it's honestly been it's being fulfilled. And I feel like it's been it been started. You know, it been started, but now you can see you can see how things are changing. You know? You can see how some things are changing. So, but get your relationship Get your relationship. You better start seeking God. Start seeking God. And get that relationship with Him. And the most important thing you can do is ask for forgiveness every day. Because don't think that you don't sin. We all sin. We all sin. The flesh sins every day. I don't care if it's a thought. We, we sin every day, guys. So... Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I don't care where you at, what position you in with God, we sin every day. Okay? So ask for forgiveness every day. Ask for forgiveness. God, please forgive me for any sin that I've committed, known, unknown. Known and unknown. That takes care of that, guys, because sometimes you don't know that you sin. That's why you have to say known and unknown. Sometimes you know, but then sometimes you don't know. You probably think you think you did good all day, and you don't even know somebody mad at you because of the way you 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 ain't you talk to them or you just walk right past them and speak to them or you I don't know I don't know what the case may be, but bottom line you sin every day. So ask God for forgiveness. Give Him that. Okay. Because he want to forgive all of us, you know? Especially if we live in by grace. God is a forgiving God. And he desired for all of us to be with him. All of us. Okay? But you have to acknowledge him. You got to have that relationship. You got to know that he sent his son, his only son, to down that cross for the sins of the world. You got to know that. You got to know that. All right, guys. Let me get off here. Because I feel like I'm getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And I ain't on that type of time right now, guys. I'm just trying to give you guys some motivation to make sure you got your house in order. And I ain't talking about your four walls that you go home to. I'm talking about your house. Your body. Your mind. Your soul. Your spirit. Your heart. You make sure you got your house in order. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get up off here. Y'all already know I am bringing y'all that love. Queen and Queens were a love, y'all. And I know we tell y'all that all the time. But like Queens say, we genuinely mean it. Straight up and down, guys. When we love people, we love with the love of Christ. Seriously. Seriously, seriously, seriously. We promote unity. We are all brothers and sisters, guys. We are all brothers and sisters. We all got one thing in common. One thing in common. I don't care what color you is. I don't care what race you is. We all got one thing in common. And that's our blood. Because our blood comes from Jesus Christ. Okay? That's why when you when you cut, cut yourself, you see red. Regardless of the color of your skin, you see red. So we are brothers and sisters, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. We are brothers and sisters, all right? And we can't help it because our daddy made us like that. Hey, my daddy made me like that. Hey, my daddy made me like that. He made me like that because he made me like that. Hey, hey, my daddy made me like that. Hey, hey, my daddy made me like that. Hey, hey, my daddy made me like that. He made me like that because he made me like that. Hey, y'all, that's my jam now. That is my song. I love that song. My daddy made me like that. Hey, my daddy made me like that. Hey, my daddy made me like that. He made me like that because he made me like that. That's right. Y'all can sing that song too. Because that's our daddy. That's our daddy. That's everybody's daddy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That's our daddy. And we are brothers and sisters. 
We love y'all from Queen and Queen's World of Real. Y'all be easy on this Worship Wednesday. Don't forget, find your song. Put the song on your lip. What's my song today? I like that song by um, what's his name, Isaac Curry. But they say he say he deliver me, preach, and he forgave me, preach. You better preach, preach. Say the word. Y'all go get up on that song. That's on me right, y'all. Man, oh man. I'm sure I mixed up the words a little bit. Queen probably laughing at me. Queen, no, that's my jam. I love that song. He got another song on his album where he be he be like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's my song too, y'all. I'm like, oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. So, y'all, one day I came to work. And I was in that Jesus, just in my own head space. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And one of my employees looked at me, and I hear him laughing under his mask. And I looked, I said, what is you laughing at? He was like, were you just saying Jesus? I said, I sure was. Yes, I was. And he kind of laughed at me. But y'all, yes, 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 yes. I love God. I love Jesus. I do. I do. And I don't mind worshiping them. I don't. I don't mind worship worshiping him. I don't. And you shouldn't either. And it feels good. It feels like I'm supposed to do that. So I'm going to continue to do that. Because it feels right here. It feels right, y'all. So I'm going to carry on. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm off here for real. It is. Oh, my goodness. Let me get in here, y'all. Love y'all. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Y'all go like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all definitely share us out. Share us out. And we appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. Y'all have been rocking with us. Thank you, guys. We love you. Y'all be easy on this day. I'll